Hi, sixth grade. So this week in drama, we are going to use some of our vocal skills to create our own radio commercials. Um, so you're going to be creating a commercial for a product that does not exist. So you're going to make up that product yourself. So it can be something um, that you wish existed, like a homework machine or um, something that could mute your brothers and sisters. And then all of a sudden, they don't talk. Um, so you want to think about what could possibly be invented um, that would be really, really cool. And so you're going to use the Google Doc that is attached in Google Classroom. And you are going to um, tell us some things about your product, okay? And some of the things you're gonna need to make that decision, right? This is all from your imagination and what you think, okay? So the only way you can get this wrong is if you don't do it, okay? Um, you're going to be writing a short script. Um, so your radio commercial should be no more than 60 seconds um, because a 60 second radio commercial costs a lot of money. So, um, I mean, we're not doing it for real, but in real life, a minute commercial is a long time. Um, so you're gonna write a short script of your minute long commercial, and then you're going to practice it, and then eventually on Tuesday, you are going to record that radio commercial on Flipgrid, okay? Um, now, I think that there is a way that you can just record the audio, um, but it's fine if we can see your face too. Um, but what we're really going to be concentrating on though is how it sounds. Okay. So since you can't rely on us seeing your item, okay, because you're not going to be like, and then this is my, right? You can't rely on us seeing what that thing is, right? So you need to be descriptive on what you're talking about. Okay. So I'm going to show you kind of around the different documents here. So hold on a sec. Okay, so here is the um, kind of one document that I want you to look at. Okay, so create a radio commercial. So you're going to think of a product that has not been invented yet. Okay, something that you wish that you had. So for example, a homework machine. So again, it can be absolutely crazy and fantastical because, you know, this is drama. Okay, so each of these um, number questions is what you're going to be answering. Okay, so we have um, one through ten. Okay, and you're going to be filling in your answers to this. Okay, on this Google Doc. Okay, and this Google Doc says name of your product. So you're going to type the name of your product right there. And what special things can it do? What do you think? I'm sorry. Who do you think would buy this product? Okay, and so don't just say people, like that's too general. You wanna be specific of like, I think um, older people would like this product because blah, 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 blah. Or this is a product that is geared towards teenagers because they love da, 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 okay. Number um, four asks, what type of radio commercial would yours be? Okay, and it gives you some examples. So jingles, personified, testimonial, drama, straight information. Okay, so you're gonna wanna um, kind of look at those definitions and uh, decide which type of commercial you wanna be. Um, personally, jingle commercials um, are the ones that I remember. So like, you know, 1-800-SAVE-AUTO, pick up the phone, the call is free. 1-800-SAVE-AUTO. It's kind of an older safe auto commercial, but still that was from like 15 years ago and I can still remember it because it's set to music, right? And it's just so catchy. Um, a lot of times commercials have a catchphrase too, like ba da ba ba ba, I'm loving it, right? Or um, think outside the bun or um, red robin, yum, right? You think of, you hear that and you're like, oh, that food place, right? So you want to think of what way are you going to draw your, um, I almost said viewers, draw your audience in, okay? Because they can't see your product. So what are you going to say that is going to 
get them to understand what your product is about and for them to get excited about your product. Okay. So number five, you're writing approximately a 30 second radio commercial. Remember that it should persuade the buyer to buy the product. Okay. So you're trying to convince them to buy your product. Um, now I say 30 seconds. Um, it can be as long as a minute, but again, a minute is a really long time for something like this. Okay. So you really want to whittle it down to, um, what is the most important part? What is what are the things that you really have to get in there? All right, number six, create a jingle, so something catchy. You can write it or you can use some music that you have on hand and play. Um, since you're recording this on Flipgrid, you're going to want to um, have that music ready, like a tab open, so you can play that. Um, you know, if there's different sound effects you want to add and things like that, you can pretty much find almost anything on YouTube or if you Google it. So again, um, number seven, what kind of sound effects are you going to include? Um, number eight, you want to think about what will the price of your product be? Okay. Um, and then number nine, how will the lives of your listeners change or improve by buying your product? So like, why do they have to buy your product? Okay, so what are you going to do, you know, to get them there? Um, number 10, rehearse your commercial a few times. Okay, so verbally say it several times. Make sure it makes sense. Okay, and then record it on Flipgrid. Um, make sure that you um, re-watch it on Flipgrid, listen to it, okay, and make sure that it's something that you're proud of and that is, um, you know, your final draft. And if, if not, if you're like, that could be better. Just re-record it. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we're going to introduce this on Monday and then you need to have your commercial filmed and, um, recorded and ready to go, um, by the end of class on Tuesday. Okay. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.